Ashley and I are actually not from Michigan, but we found each other in Chicago. We <clears throat> got married in 2018. Um, we had already purchased a home and we had the deep discussion over our honeymoon about what does a family unit look like to us. We didn't know anything about the Children's Center at the time. We found them yeah. through internet searches yeah. and actually recommendations from some of our friends. Yeah, we were also looking for someone or an organization that would help LGBTQ couples. Because yes. It, at that time, it was still maybe, maybe not with a lot of organizations, but Children's Center was definitely friendly and, and welcoming to yes. us. So when we, when we found the Children's Center, we immediately signed up for their classes. They give you a very clear understanding of what you're really kind of gonna get yourself into. About a month later, we had our first placement. And they said, there's a set of four. There's two boys and two girls. We have someone that could take either one. Um, what would you prefer? And we had talked about it before and we were like, whoop, whoop. Work with the girls, we'll take the girls. It, it sort of opened our world in a very short period of time. It is probably the most rewarding and probably the hardest job I've ever had. At the same time, we had a lot of help, particularly from the Children's Center because we um, enrolled the, our youngest, she was three at the time, in infant mental health services here at the Children's Center. And we got matched with the loveliest most amazing therapist. We met with her probably every week for like almost three and a half years. And she helped not only our daughter, but she was there for us saying, everything's great. You're doing a good job. This is natural. Developmentally, she's great. I don't know how we would have pulled off anything as dads without that particular um, help from the therapist here. We also enrolled our eldest daughter in um, her own trauma-based therapy program, and that was transformative for her. And really, honestly, take that, what had happened, and, and move beyond it in a way that was really, really helpful for her. Yeah. We were able to start to see them really come into themselves, um, start to understand a little bit more about the people they're becoming, and see their development start to take a different course. Yeah. And so, you know, we've tried to definitely create an environment where, no, you're not the parent, we are the parents, we've got you. Go be you, find out what you love. And now our oldest, she loves tinkering, she reads absolutely everything. And then our youngest is the unicorn girl <laughs> and her <Her's> dancer hysterical <laughs> and coming into her own as well, finding her voice like, I'm not just my sister's sister, I'm my own person. So they're really coming into their own. That's probably the best part about this entire thing is just seeing them be themselves, be kids, be who they're supposed to be. Being part of the LGBTQ community, um, we've had some very difficult um, relationships with our own uh, family members. And our experience has been, you know, really colored by being able to be that chosen family member for a child, someone who um, doesn't really know their place or position in the world and feels lost and feels disconnected, to be able to provide that sort of person-to-person -person connection and a landing place for um, all of the basic needs, but even beyond basic needs. So the power of one or one sort of union is incredibly transformative to children. It's transformative to the adults that care for those children. It's transformative to the impact it can have on a community. I'm just so thankful that we get to be a part of their lives and they get to be a part of ours. Yeah, even if you're not looking to foster directly or, you know, be one-on-one -on -one with a kid 24-7, you know, to be that one person just offer assistance to another family. The power of that one, you know, offer is also something that you won't know the effect of it, maybe ever, but it will have a big effect.